Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. So I've been gone a little bit. Um, I was originally going to be posting videos this week, but with everything going on with the holidays and like work and everything, I just really honestly didn't have time and I was so backed up that I just needed a week to kind of recoup and get everything back on track. Today it's what's today friday <laughs> i got off of work a little bit early sunday is christmas eve and monday of course is christmas so we got out early i didn't even mention guys my hair i cut it off finally i got so much positive feedback on instagram by the way so if you commented it was kind of hard to reply to everyone but thank you guys so much for all the really really sweet comments you guys just made me so happy that day i really like it i can't stop touching it because it just feels so healthy and it looks like I got it dyed. I keep getting questions if I dyed it and I didn't dye it. I think it's just because, I honestly don't know. It's more full or something, but you can see my roots are still growing in. I'm trying to grow back like my natural hair color. I, you guys are gonna hate me. Rearranged my apartment again because you guys, I was so feeling overwhelmed. I think I honestly overworked myself. I want to keep YouTube as my main priority and I kind of let it slip a little bit just because I kept saying yes to everyone that was like asking me things, which is okay. Like I liked working a lot. Um, this is not something I want to do throughout the whole year. It's just because it's Christmas time and I don't know, I kind of like that hustle bustle feeling of Christmas and like always having something to do and stuff. But I think I said yes a little bit too much and I kind of got overwhelmed. I didn't have time to film videos. So I want to like apologize on my behalf because I did promise a Manifestation Wednesday video this week and I didn't post it and I 100% apologize. I will not let that happen again. Let me show you guys my new apartment. Mm -hmm. It's not new, but it feels really new. I ended up putting my fireplace over here. I have all my presents down here and I put the TV on the fireplace and I have like all my Christmas movies right here. I have my candle on, everything else right there. And then I ended up putting my desk over by the window. I do need to hang up something right here, but I don't know what yet. Probably these things. Um, and then my couch is right here. I have my rug. And then I kind of scooted my bed over this way and I need to shift the mirror as well. I like it. I needed something different. So I'm on my third Christmas movie. I watched Christmas Vacation first, and then I watched The Grinch, and now I'm watching Christmas with the Cranks. Oh, it feels so good. I can probably go through like all my Christmas movies tonight. Hardcore planning, like I'm planning all into 2018. I'm planning everything. I'm not gonna go too in depth with it. I also got a Twitter because this week, I felt like I kind of wanted to tell you guys like what was going on, but I didn't wanna like do an Insta or Snap story and just take up your time. I feel like that's really annoying for people who like don't follow me for my YouTube, like family and friends, like they don't wanna hear like a rant of like why I'm not posting, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna make a Twitter so that I can connect with you guys and you guys can ask me questions I can answer. I can tell you kind of what's going on, quotes that come up for communication with you guys. I'm following people right now. I have 32 people that I'm following. Let me explain to you guys who I'm following and you guys tell me some ideas because I need to follow more people. All right, let me tell you guys who I'm following right now. I tried to find Bill Murray. It's the biggest disappointment, but he does not have a Twitter, but I feel like if he had a Twitter, he'd be like number one in my book. Another person that doesn't have a Twitter, James Franco. 
It's really sad to me. I freaking love James Franco. It's okay because I found Tom Hanks, Steve Martin, Lord Voldemort, Emma Watson, a ton of Real Housewives people, some of my favorite YouTubers, Jim Carrey, Rihanna, Ellen, Oprah, all of the Impractical Jokers, Sal being my favorite, Kristen Cavallari, and Chip and Joanna Gaines. By the way, my Twitter is Renee Amberg. Definitely follow me, communicate with me. Some of you guys had already like started communicating with me, which is amazing. I just have to get a like handle on how this works a little bit. <laughs> I'm about to drive. I got like this new, I don't even know. I'm scared the camera's gonna fall. Like I stick it on my window. Whee! Yep. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna pull over. It's like not attaching. And people are staring at me, but whatever. Okay, so I think I got it. Can you guys see me? I'm on my way to my mom's house for Christmas. I just wanted to get like this camera thing. I don't want to focus on filming. I just want it to be like there. It's not, like the main focus, I don't want to like hold a vlog camera while I'm driving because that's just so dangerous. People are staring too now. Yay! Pop in some music. Five. I've been listening to Christmas music every chance that I get. Say hi. Hey. Dad, do you want to say hi? Yeah, hi. What is it? School. Wave hi. What? Do, what? Do you Bulls. Bulls. Oh, Bulls. Bulls, one more time. One, two, Bulls, three. Bulls, they won 38 34. Even though I'm UCF. UCF will win on Monday. I guess they haven't been defeated. I think they're a great team. Savannah. Oh, damn. So, what are you cooking, Dad? I'm cooking wine burgers. So, we're going to do the Christmas tag. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm gonna ask you the questions too, okay? What questions? It's called the Christmas tag. The first question is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Uh, mine is The Christmas Story. I probably agree with Dad, Christmas Vacation. Uh, mine's gonna be A Wonderful Life. Oh, okay, never mind. just kidding. Wonderful life. Are you on the naughty or nice list? I am 100% on the nice list. 100% on the nice list. Dad? Nice list. <laughs> Show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. Well, we don't have that right now. Have you ever had a white Christmas? What does that even mean? That means no. It means like it snowed during Christmas. Oh, never. Dad, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or do you wait until the last minute? Shop I very early. I agree. I shop super early. Last minute. If you could be in any Christmas movie, <laughs> what would it be? The Grinch. Oh hell yeah, the Grinch. I want I want the nose, the teeth, everything. I mean, Dad? Christmas vacation. Christmas vacation. Name all of Santa's reindeer. Alright, pass. Donner and Blitzen and Donner and Blitzen. Wow, you Comet said the and same Cupid. name like twice. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Wow, I've said but it do again. Do you recall the, the most, most famous, famous reindeer, reindeer of all? Da, 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 da. I'm gonna get Rudolph in there. Yeah. When does your family put up the Christmas tree and who decorates it? Last week of uh, Thanksgiving. Brussels uh, sprouts. Broccoli or green beans? Green beans. Green beans. Who puts up your Christmas tree? Mom does, but we put it up together. Yeah, we do the ornaments together. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? Real. Real. Show us an ugly Christmas sweater. This is like the worst Christmas tie ever. Yeah, it's bad. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Noah. Caitlin Elise O'Day. Ray. Ray from uh, Star Wars. Okay, Dad, I see you. Does your family have a special holiday recipe? Wine burgers? Wine burgers. Mom makes pumpkin bread and potato salad. Are you a pro present wrapper or fail miserably? Pro. Do you wrap presents like a pro oh, or do you fail? Yeah. Dad, do you wrap presents like a pro or are you a he failure? Does. I'm a pro. Hell yeah, he's a pro. All these presents like wrapped so perfectly. And dad's like, I've been working hours for these. I've been working like, I've been working on them for since like Three in the hours. morning. Yeah. 
Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No. Yes. No, but I would love to. Wait, Dad, Are you have serious? you gone Christmas caroling? Yeah. When? Back when I was in Pennsylvania when I was in junior high school. What tops your tree? A star or an angel? Angel. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Yes, I make New Year's resolutions. Yes. I try my best to stick to them. And yes. You have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? I have to get a divorce. To go to SCAD. For this yeah. one to go to SCAD. Savannah. Hell yeah, I can't represent. Just avid boy. If you could tell my subscribers one thing about me, what would you say? Tenacious. Tenacious? What does that mean? Aggressive. Okay. If you're not aggressive about getting things, you'll never get it. is officially over kind of sad but I'm ready for 2018 it's been a wonderful year for me had a really really wonderful Christmas I hope you guys did too so I'm gonna share with you guys some things that I got this year for Christmas just a disclaimer I am super blessed and thankful that I got gifts Christmas is about giving not receiving but I just thought it would be a fun idea to share with you guys what I got for Christmas if you guys had some extra cash that you want to spend for Christmas I will leave everything linked down below if you guys want to get some of the same stuff that I got. So I'm going to start off this haul with with this pillow. I got this from my brother. He got it from Pier 1. You guys just wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. It lights up. Okay. This is so cute and so festive. I am super stoked for this. How cute does that look? It like lights up. It's just perfect. I also got some Moscow Mule cups, a set of two because Noah and I love Moscow Mules and my mom put in everything like the recipe calls for it. So that was super, super nice. I also got this cinematic light box. This will be super fun to play with in my videos. You can like change up the text. So it'll be fun for my Manifestation Wednesday videos. I can put in like a quote or something. So one of my favorite gifts that I got this year were my books and you guys seem to like them as well because I saw that a lot of you guys screenshotted it on Snapchat. So again, I'll leave all the books linked down below if you guys wanna get them. But I'm gonna start off with Rhonda Burns' The Magic. This is kind of like a daily law of attraction book. If you guys read The Secret, it's the same author. So there's 28 days of full law of attraction exercises and stuff. You read one chapter a day and there's exercise Exercises, journal entries, questions, and it's just super, super interactive. So the second book that I got was Adventures for Your Soul by Shannon Kaiser. This is 21 ways to transform your habits and reach your full potential. So I'm really, really stoked for this one as well for 2018. The third book that I got was The Happiness Equation. Want nothing plus do anything equals having everything. Equation behind happiness, how do you receive happiness? And I'm pretty sure this is also a movie or a documentary or something, but I'm really, really stoked to read this. This one. The fourth book that I got is Girl Code by Kara Leba and it's secrets um, for success, sanity, and happiness for the female entrepreneur. Again, I'm super stoked for this one. Questions and answers in it and I love the style of this writing. Last but not least because this is definitely my favorite, I got Oprah's The Wisdom of Sundays. Oprah talks to so many amazing life-changing people and she put a collection of all the people that she's talked to that kind of just gave her that aha life-changing conversation and she wrote down the best parts of it so they're life-changing insights from super soul conversations and if anything that oprah thinks is like aha moments and that she's like spiritually been awakened from i'm pretty sure is an amazing thing so i am so so stoked for this plus this one is so nice like the quality of it and the picture is a really great book to kind of just throw on a coffee table or something so on to the movies that i got i got a ton of movies as well i got it's complicated i haven't watched this one yet but i've heard it's really good one of my favorites is the family stone i got love actually four christmases my favorite the holiday this is probably 
my favorite Christmas movie besides Christmas Vacation because it's just so aesthetically pleasing. I forgot how good this movie was. And you guys just wait for it. All of the Harry Potter movies that I've been missing and they're all on Blu-ray. They're so perfect. I'm so excited. I also got this pillowcase. It says just one more chapter and it's in like a typewritten font. It's so, so cute. It's by O Savannah. This is my favorite gift this whole Christmas. My Luke's Diner coffee mug. Can we just like take a moment? It says Stars Hollow, Connecticut. It's from Luke's Diner and I, I love this mug so, so much. Another mug that I got was my Slytherin mug because I took the Pottermore quiz and I'm actually a Slytherin and don't take that the wrong way because Slytherins are not all evil. They have the most evil wizards, but not all of them are evil. That's like a huge misconception. They're just very ambitious and will do anything to succeed. And I'm not evil. I'm a Slytherin though. So I got my Slytherin cup. My brother's a Ravenclaw. My dad's a Ravenclaw and my mom is a Hufflepuff. Let me know what you guys are. My brother got actually from Harry Potter World at Universal. Just picture myself like reading my Harry Harry Potter book drinking from my Slytherin coffee mug. It just gives me so much pleasure. I also got this little enjoy the little things for my acai bowls. I also got a milk frother because I want to start making kind of like cappuccinos or like lattes but I didn't want a latte machine. I got a ton of workout stuff. I got these ankle weights. I also got these core sliders. These are the things that you put underneath your feet and they'll like slide. And lastly I got these stretch bands to put around your legs. They're just like all different colors and you can work out your booty with this. I also got a GoPro stick. This one is really, really nice. It's like a metallic blue. I got this Purity face wash. This is my favorite face wash. It's simplistic when it comes to ingredients and it's just really light and it's not too heavy. It's like honestly perfect. I got little knickknacks like um, face masks and Epsom salts and essential oils and hairsprays. I won a lottery ticket, a notepad, um, and I also got this. This is really, really me, and my mom got me this. It's really cute. And I got organic coffee because my Publix doesn't sell this organic coffee, and I'm absolutely in love with this coffee. So I also got this. This is a really cute shirt. It says Harvard Law, just kidding. I also got this from my mom. It's a happy thoughts sweater and it's so soft on the inside and it's just like perfect for like just chilling in your house. I forgot if this is from Urban Outfitters or Paxson, but it's from either one of those. Knit sweater and it's like really long and comfortable. It's gonna be perfect for when I'm like working in the office and I just wanna feel homey. I got some essential oils, of course, because I love essential oils. This is all I'm gonna say. Actually, I want this right now. I also got this dark chocolate from Panama. It's the Hudson Henry granola. He like writes these like really inspiring quotes on the back and one of them mentioned the law of attractions and it says stuff like do something today to start that business or project that you've been thinking of for far too long. One of them says read something about the law of attraction, pay a compliment, help someone. It's just like the person behind this is just super inspiring plus it's like made with like real natural ingredients so if you guys like granola definitely give this guy some love and buy some because he just seems like such a good guy and he spreads like such positive energy. I got this huge thing of goji berries, beauty ex Exceller, Exceller, I don't know how to pronounce this, but I learned this from Carly Kloss, I think she mentioned it in like a blog or something. Fermented greens, it helps you reduce stress and provide antioxidants for cellular support to feel and have an amazing day. If you're stressed or something, it regulates your hormones, helps you de-stress. Adaptogens, I don't know, I read something that this is good for and I'm pretty sure it was like stress and like anxiety or something. So it's just like a natural organic way to kind of reduce your stress and get your hormones in check. Amazing grass, green superfood. These are your daily greens. You have one scoop every morning and you get your daily greens. There is wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, spirulina, Corolla, broccoli, spinach, beets, carrots, pineapple, acai, and maca powder. This is so good and it's like such an easy way to get your greens in. Just one scoop every day. It's organic. The good stuff. And then lastly, my boyfriend is such an amazing person. I got this and it says, guess where? With the like navigation thing. It says Georgia, which we just went to Georgia. Georgia is an amazing place, but we just went. He said, nope. 
and he put this in here. He's taking me to Vegas. Going to have a trip to Vegas this beginning of the year. And my best friend lives there too, so it'll be like a super, super fun trip. I love everything that I got. I had a super amazing Christmas. I hope you guys really had a great Christmas as well. Let me know if you guys get anything from this video. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. It'll be a fun way to communicate with you guys and get to know you guys a little bit better. I'm spreading all my positive vibrations over to you guys. I love you guys so much. 2018 is going to be such an amazing year for me YouTube wise. I have so many great ideas. I'm excited to share them with you guys and there will be a manifestation Wednesday video tomorrow so definitely come back. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys all in another video tomorrow. Bye guys.